point of view, or maybe. And I thought that I should be here to, to look at myself, look at, especially look at them, look at this. Uh, it, uh, with, with all the problems that you have seen, with all the complexity, with all the melancholy, and the sadness, and the, also the a little bit of lost dreams and things like that. I mean, everything. And I could look at my country, I could look at myself. It was complex and interesting. and So I, I had never had that in films, because I, I wrote a script, completely stupid. Interior, night, the boy wakes up crying. <laughs> So, and so I, I had not, never had this, and what I, I really remember, and I was telling you it's the foundation, it's when I gave them, I gave a lady or a boy or a girl or these letters that I got in, in, from the Kerferians, these gifts, these messages, Sometimes I, some of them opened the letters in front of me because I had a little wine to drink and they said, wait, wait, and then you should meet my husband. So I waited a bit and I saw them read the letters. <coughs> and this is a big metaphor, but you have to live with it. Um, it, for me, it became the, uh, an idea to make films that you don't know the, the script, you don't know the story. It's hidden inside a, an envelope. It was this, this letter, this message that I was passing, and I didn't know the, what was written there. Sometimes I thought mm, it's bad news or it's good news because I saw the faces. And it was all the films I had seen and loved and still love, from Chaplin and Griffith. And you see the faces, the, the, uh, and the expressions and the emotions, but you don't know the text. You don't know what's written in those letters. Well, now I know. Some of them I know. But uh, it was a fantastic uh, moment for me because, uh, because I, 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 it gave me confidence to, to abandon script writing, for instance. I, I've never ever written one word to, for a film. And uh, it gave me another kind of, uh, yeah, confidence to to start a film with just, you know, someone. Normally a film starts with, with someone, a boy, a girl, a man, a woman, or, or a lot of people. And that's enough, that's, it's more than enough. I'm lucky because I found this center, this, you know, this, this it's really a center for me, uh, uh, a place that that I could, uh, where, from where I could see and work and evaluate or analyze a lot of things. Again, like I said, myself, reality, everything that I think, I still believe that a filmmaker should do. It's more or less this, it's, uh, if you want to call it a bit of documentary, a little bit of fiction, a little bit of fantasy, a little bit of everything. But Something interesting, it's the best word I can find, Inter something interesting that can become complicated or complex and, and so, I, so I devoted, after that I, I, I was so, so seduced and fascinated that I, that I stayed. And after though that bad experience, bad in the sense that it was not done like it should have been done, um, 
uh, I decided to do this alone. So this is a film I did completely alone. I was lucky again because it was uh, the year or the moment when the, the small video cameras arrived, appeared, those uh, camcorders, you know, they don't exist anymore, mini DV, those tapes. So I bought one in the supermarket and <coughs> I, bought, I bought some tapes and a tripod and, and, uh, and I began and I completely broke all my ties with, with uh, not with friends, but with the cinema, especially the technicians and the producers, etc. And I, I went, I, I lived in this place for for well, some years, and I, I started doing this alone. Then I brought a friend to do the sound because I thought I could do everything myself. You know. It's not possible. Um, so the film, this film, suffers a little bit on the sounds, things, I guess. Um, but um, so this is um, the first film where I not only like the film, but I can not be ashamed of the way it was made was made in a decent way. All the people that you see in front of the camera are as important as the people behind me. <laughs> so it's the the balance was was I think was correct. And that I learned or I decided to to learn or to because I think it's the most important thing to do a film is to have a, to try to break break no not really uh, explode the this power situation that you have in films behind the camera controls in front they are slaves so I've always uh, tried to balance this this um, so they are script writers, they are art directors, they are all of those things that you see in, in normal films. Vanda did uh, a lot of things. She's also a producer, she's also um, so it's the first film in fact where I where the means and the results are balanced. Um, well, it's very long, but and I could go on. But <coughs> it's not about democracy or things like that, because of course I I I have to think about the film a lot every day and where it should go, where it could go. Uh, invent or hear and see things because that's um, that's how I do it I hear things I see things that I like that I again find interesting and, and I try to organize this in a, something uh, if it's complicated but it's This Jacques Rivette filmmaker that I love, French, that said, "If you, why do it simple if you can do it complicated?" <laughs> <laughs> and that's I end up always doing some things that are very. It's more than complicated; it's a lot of work. So to get to the final thing, what you have seen, it has been a for me a curse of my life. This film has been <sighs> terrible for me in a way. Fantastic, but terrible because it was one of the first films that mixed a little bit what they call documentary and fiction, what you call <laughs> documentary and hybrid and I don't know what else. In film studies they, they, they talk like that. But 
<laughs> but uh, it has been terrible for me because I have to answer things that I don't know. From. So what the first time the film was shown, it, it was in a fest. The second time, it was in a festival in Paris, very famous uh, documentary festival of documentary film uh, of fest, uh, films, and it's called uh, the Festival of the of uh, du Real. Translate that. Uh, real, real, maybe? Real. Yeah. yeah, reality. Not, not really real. Yeah, well, festival of real reality, which is. Uh, so I was there in Paris, I showed this, and then I had this the QA. And, and this was in uh, nine, so uh, 2000. The year 2000. I, it was new for me because uh, I, I was in fiction. I mean, I, I did big films, or normal films, narrative films. So it was the first time I was confronted with this documentary reality. And the people then in, nine, in 2000, so a long time ago, they were a bit different from you. It was all men, especially men with long beards and bags. <laughs> especially in France, I don't know, maybe in France. And they looked very angry. And they all looked very angry, especially with me, because, you know, because I think the drugs, of course, it's not a way to present this problem, and I could agree with them a little bit. But I had a very, very uh, difficult Q&A, in the sense that it was, um, I mean, just to, to make it brief, at one point, someone asked me, uh, uh, but uh, I, uh, I don't understand, is she smoking? 